Thanks. All right. Um, in solving this one, I look at these denominators, and I notice I have a 2 and an a minus 3. a minus 3 is repeated. I don't need to put it in there twice. So for my denominator, I'm going to use 2 times a minus 3. Again, the reason why I'm using that is because it's just going to cancel them out when I multiply everything by it. So multiply both sides by it. And over here, it gets distributed to both terms. And before I simplify, um, that divides out to a 1, that divides out to a 1, and that divides out to a 1. So what I'm left with is a times a minus 3 plus uh, 3 times 2 is 6 equals 2 times a is 2a. So I'm going to go to solve this. Distribute that a into there. a squared minus 3a plus 6 equals 2a. And I notice I have a quadratic. So if I have a quadratic, I could run it through quadratic formula or try and factor it. So let me get it equal to 0. Um, a squared minus 5a plus 6 equals 0. And then what I can do is uh, try and solve this, try and factor it. Things that multiply to positive 6 add to negative 5 are negative 3 and negative 2. So um, this would factor to a minus 3 times a minus 2, and that's equal to 0. Continue solving. These two things multiplied together give me 0. That means either this is 0 or this is 0. So I have some solutions, so let me check. So let me try and plug in 3 to my original equation. 3 over 2 plus 3 over 3 minus 3 equals 3 over 3 minus 3. And, and notice uh, what happens if I do that. This is like a 3 over 0. So is this. Um, that's undefined. I have to throw out that 3. So let me plug in 2, see if it works. Uh, 2 over 2 plus 3 over 2 minus 3 equals, does it? Uh, I'm plugging in 2. 2 over 2 minus 3. So this is a 1. This is a 3 over 2 minus 1. So 3 over negative 1. So that's a negative 3. And the question is, does that actually equal 2 over negative 1? So does 1 minus 3 equals negative 2? Yes, it does. So that one works. So there's my answer.